Okay, we're going to do lesson 12-5, fractions greater than 1. Okay, so if you think about this, I'm going to show it to you before we start doing this worksheet here. If you think about it, let's say we have one pizza and we divide it into fourths, right? And so if I ate the whole pizza, it would be four fourths. But what if I was really hungry and I had two whole pizzas, okay, so I have two whole pizzas that I cut into fourths, and I ate one whole pizza, I know this sounds a little crazy, and one piece of the second, out of the second piece, the second uh, whole pizza. Did I eat more than one whole pizza? I did. I ate this whole pizza plus another one. So if we're thinking of this one, ignore this one for a second. Out of the whole, how many sections are there total? Our denominator would be four, right? Because that's how many sections there are total. So if I ate, how many fourths did I eat? One, two, three, four, five. Five fourths, okay? We know that four fourths is gonna equal that one whole pizza. So when the numerator and denominator are the same, I know that four, four fourths equals one whole pizza. If my numerator is greater, I know it's more than one because four fourths is one whole pizza. So if this is more than that, then I have more than one. Okay, let's take a look at it. On here, okay? So a number line is divided into equal parts, okay? We know this is the same as we did uh, yesterday. Zero and one. The number line at the right has how many equal parts? Remember, we count the space, not the lines, okay? So we have one, two, three, four. It has four equal parts. And if we're going to write it as a fraction, each part is what fraction of the whole? What is this one part? Think of your Twizzlers. If you put your Twizzler down and it covered that one part, you have four equal parts. One section is going to be one-fourth of the whole, right? Okay, what's the missing fraction? We got one-fourth, some number of fourths, three-fourths, and then we know our whole is four-fourths. So what's this missing one? Write it down right there. You should have written two-fourths, right? One-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. Now remember what we learned about these arrows. This means this line keeps going on. This line keeps going on. We know we have negative numbers over here, but what number follows one on a number line? Zero, one, two. Okay, so if we look here, a little shaky, but here's my number line, zero and one. That's so far in our fractions, that's what we're dealing in here. But we know we have one, two, three, even the one in our classroom goes up to 100. So we know that this number line, this arrow means it keeps going on and on. And of course there's fractions in between all of those whole numbers. So if I just take this zero and one, and let's say I divide it, that's half, and let's say I want fourths, right? Okay, it's about even. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four sections, and then I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna first divide it in half between one and two. Okay, so how many sections do I have? One, two, three, four. So I know that my denominators are all going to be four, right? Because this is broken into fourths. Let's just worry about this first. So my whole number is how many fourths? What, what's my numerator here? Should be four fourths, right? One, two, three, four. So this makes this what? One fourth, fill those two in. Two fourth, three fourths, right? 
one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, which means I'm at one whole, four fourths, okay? I still have more fourths. These are all still fourths, okay? So instead of four fourths, how many fourths I have? One, two, three, four, five fourths. Keep going. Six fourths, seven fourths, and eight fourths for whole number two. Remember how we learned that this is also division, right? And we learned that, that that's a way that we can write division. So four divided by four is one. What's eight divided by four? Two. Okay, so if it makes sense that four fourths is one whole, then it should make sense that eight fourths is two whole. And if we go back to our pizza here, that was five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths. Eight fourths should equal two whole pizzas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it is possible to have our numerator be bigger. We just know that it's greater than one. Okay, so let's take a look at our worksheet that we have. Okay, you can represent fractions that are greater than one on the number line. Show six fourths on the number line. Okay, so the whole is the distance between we have zero and one. So first, without even looking at that, we need to figure out how many sections we have here. One two, three, four. So we know our denominators are all going to be four, right? With our whole number one being four fourths. So fill in those, pause it and come back. Okay, you should get one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. So the denominator is, what's our denominator? Denominator down, what's your denominator? Write it right there be four. So the whole is divided into four equal parts. Each length is what fraction? Oops. Each length is what fraction of the whole? What fraction is that to write there? Should be one fourth. In six fourths, which num what is our numerator? We know this is our denominator. What's our numerator? Six. So there are six lengths of one fourth. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if this is four fourths, this one should be five fourths. This one should be six fourths. Okay, so this is where six fourths would be on the number line. The point showing six lengths of one fourth, one, two, three, four, five, six, can be labeled as six fourths. And we made a point right there. Now, is six fourths greater than or less than one? There's one. So is six fourths greater than or less than one? It's greater than. We can also tell by just by looking at six fourths. We know that four fourths is one whole. So five fourths, six fourths, seven fourths, eight fourths, that has to be more than that. Four fourths is one whole. So if we have six fourths, we're gonna have one whole and then two more pieces out of the next pizza pie, okay? All right, any point in a number line can be named using a fraction. How many equal lengths are between zero and one? Okay, find your zero and find your one. You have to find that because we have all sorts of things going on over here. So how many equal lengths are between zero and one? Remember, you count the lengths you count the space in between, not the tick marks, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many spaces do we have? Eight. We could have looked at the denominator too, that would have helped us. So each part is what fraction of the whole? What fraction is that one part? Write that right there. Should have gotten one eighth. The numerator shows the number of copies of the unit fraction, right? So our numerator, um, like one eighth or three eighths or four eighths or five eighths or nine eighths, 11 eighths, 12 eighths, shows how many of these unit fractions we have. 
So what are the missing fractions? Okay, I want you to fill in where these question marks are. I want you to write the unit fraction. So pause it and come back. Okay, so you should have two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, this should be eight eighths, nine eighths, 10 eighths, 11 eighths, and 12 eighths. So the missing fractions were two eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. You can write eight eighths because it technically was missing. They had a one in there, but that's okay. And 10 eighths. Okay, draw and divide a number line into thirds. Label the unit fractions two thirds, four thirds, and five thirds. Okay, so first we do, okay, five thirds tells me that I'm going greater than one. So I'm gonna do zero, one, and two. Okay, so now each section between zero and one, our denominator is three. So we're gonna divide it into three equal parts, right? So you're gonna to have to draw two lines. Three parts equals two lines. One, two, okay? Ignore what's over here. So this one is three thirds, right? So then I want you to label those two. Pause it and come back. Okay, so this should have been one third and two thirds. Now between the one and the two, we have to stick with thirds. We cannot change this. This is all the same number line. We cannot change this to fourths or tenths or anything like that. So we're sticking with thirds. So between one and two, we're gonna, this isn't any different than looking at zero and one, okay? It's the same distance here. So between one and two, if we want three sections, we're gonna make two lines because we're, that gives us one, two, three spaces. So if this is three thirds, our denominators are going to be three. Okay, so if this is one third, two thirds, three thirds, how many thirds should this be? Four thirds, and what about this one? Five thirds, and whole number two should be six thirds. Now, look at six thirds. What is six divided by three? It better be two. What is three divided by three? It better be one, because that's you're telling me it's one. Three-thirds is one, six-thirds is two. Six divided by three is two, so it all works. Great job. We will see you manana.